Hi everyone, I'm Laura Noel and today I am six weeks pregnant. Welcome to my six weeks pregnancy vlog. This week I finally made my little list of the questions I'm going to answer each week on my vlogs. So I'm super excited about that. Today, according to my calculation based on my three day window of possible days I may have ovulated, I take the middle day and kind of average from there. Um, today, Wednesday, January 21st, I would be exactly six weeks pregnant, which means I have just completed my sixth week of pregnancy. The size of the baby, according to the bump, is the size of a sweet pea or about one fourth inch. Um, I'll also give you any due date changes. Again, I haven't seen a doctor. I don't know exactly what they're going to estimate my due date. I have it estimated between September 15th and 17th, but I'm sure that will change as time goes on. Um, next is doctor appointments. I mentioned last week that I had my appointment um, with my general practitioner and she did a beta HCG blood test and I got those results back and I am indeed pregnant and my values were um, 5021 which they estimated just to be about five weeks which was exactly right on the dot I was five weeks as of last Wednesday so that seems perfect and I got a referral from my OB and I don't know a whole lot about this OB um, in her office but I got an appointment for the second week of February, so I'm super excited about that. I will be about the middle of my ninth week at that time, so I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. I'm not sure what their philosophies are over there, but I'll keep you updated. On to symptoms. Oh my gosh, this has been quite a week. Um, my cramps have been only occasional, which is awesome, but also means that it kind of is very scary to me and I'm always worried that that's going to mean that they're spotting, which the farther hasn't been, um, but it kind of freaks me out. I'm like, oh, why am I feeling that cramp, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just normal, but my mind likes to worry. Um, I have been very tired, very drowsy. If I'm sitting, my eyes just kind of start to close and I can't remember things from minute to minute, like literally somebody told me something and two minutes later I asked them and they're like, I just told you that. Yep. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, my memory has been shot. Um, my nose is getting a little stronger, not terribly strong, but I'm just smelling things stronger than I did before. And vivid dreams. Oh my goodness, not bad dreams yet, but I have had some really vivid dreams. Um, yeah, and I'm completely breaking out, but that's hormones for you. Um, with my emotions, I have been having some mild mood swings, some oversensitivity, some crying spells. Yeah, yeah, so that's some of that started. In the weight gain department, it's actually been weight loss right now. Um, as of the last, in the last week, I've lost a pound, and then in the last two weeks, I've lost a total of a pound and a half. So that's interesting, but I also hear that's normal in the first trimester. And then cravings and aversions. Yes, morning sickness has started for me. Um, it hasn't been terrible. I would say for now it's just queasiness and then I have to eat all the time. If I don't eat for like an hour or two, I'll start feeling hungry, but I'll also start feeling sick. Um, and I've noticed when I start walking or when I'm like grocery shopping and out and about, I'll start just feeling kind of nauseous and queasy. Um, also food just doesn't sound good. Um, I've still been able to eat. Um, and keep everything down so far, but food just doesn't sound good. And there are specific foods like spicy foods and dairy that just, uh, no, I won't, I won't eat them. So I wouldn't say that they're necessarily aversions, but it's kind of I'm repulsed by it, which I guess is the same as aversion. But yeah, I just don't want food. So I'll talk a little bit about how I am dealing with that later. Um, that's pretty much it for symptoms. Um, 
The next thing that I'll talk about each week is a little section here about essential oils that I've been using that week and also any other products that I'm using that I'm loving. I've had some questions about how I'm using essential oils during pregnancy and um, I'm going to do a whole video on this in a couple of weeks really going into my philosophy but I wanted to just briefly touch on it. Um, I have the book Gentle Babies by Deborah Rayburn which is on the very liberal side of things of using all sorts of oils all the time. And then I just got, and I haven't had a time to really look at this, but this is Aromatherapy for Babies and Children by Shirley Price and Penny Price Parr. And I've heard that this is more on the conservative side of things. So like I said, I haven't really read it yet. Um, once I go through it more, I'll explain more of my thoughts on that in that future video. Um, but I'm excited to have these and really kind of dive in. My philosophy right now is to try to avoid essential oils as much as possible in the first trimester. There are people who say avoid it the entire pregnancy. I'm not one of those people. And then there's people that say you should avoid it during the first trimester. Well, unfortunately, that's where most of your symptoms are. I want to use them and I would rather use a drop of oil or sniff an oil than take an over-the-counter medicine. So I had from the beginning been using grapefruit oil and just a drop of grapefruit and a little bit of coconut oil put on my temples for head tension and stuff with all the craziness that goes on once you're pregnant. Um, and that was really helping. And so that's all I used the first two weeks. And then this past week, I was exposed to a child who was sick. So normally I would go to my thieves oil and put that on to keep myself from getting ill. Um, but I didn't want to use that because thieves is not considered pregnancy safe. So I did use lavender and Melaleuca A tea tree oil, and also lemon, which I don't have with me. And I put those on the bottom of my feet and with carrier oil, um, just on that one night that I was exposed to the sick child. And I didn't get sick, and so, you know, it was just a precaution, but I still wanted to be very careful in my usage. I, I personally thought that the pros outweighed the cons, but that's my personal opinion. Um, as the, my morning sickness has gone along, I have pulled out the peppermint oil. Peppermint's a very strong oil, and so I'm just kind of sniffing it when I'm really feeling bad. Just a little sniff. Um, I have heard of people putting it behind their ears or even on their nose if they're really like, their nose is just so strong that they can't, can't function. And if I get to the nausea stage where vomiting comes in and stuff, I'll probably be using this more. Um, but that's what I'm doing right now for this week. Other products I'm using are this Ancient Minerals Magnesium Lotion. I was doing some research on Wellness Mama's blog and Mommy Potamus's blog about how they avoided morning sickness. And I really should have been doing this research a long time ago um, because apparently one of the causes of morning sickness is a magnesium deficiency. Yeah. Which is the reason that I got this in the first place. And I wasn't really using it should have been. Um, but now I am slathering it on my belly and on my feet every night and hoping to just get it as much as possible in my system. Um, I am also taking a calcium magnesium vitamin and there's also a little bit in my prenatal but there's definitely not enough in my system. So but this is a product that I am loving. The next section is preparations for baby and in this section I will let you know any DIY projects I'm doing, how we're working on the nursery, any things with the house or whatever, classes we're taking, any books we're reading, stuff like that, um, that have to do with preparations for baby. So this week there's nothing specifically with that, um, but the next section will be baby buys and mommy buys and some of those this week ended up being kind of in the household preparation for baby. Um, I was not supposed to have any baby buys this week and I've explained to a couple of people who have asked why are you buying things so early. Um, the reason is I've been collecting for years and I have personally come to the conclusion that I am okay with that. I'm okay with having baby stuff around the house. You know the reason that women are told not to buy things right away is in case of a loss. It can be very hard to look at baby items and I completely understand that and if somebody feels that is strongly how they would feel. I do not recommend that they buy any baby stuff or at least put it away in a closet and not think about it. Um, but I have really dealt with this for years and just thought about it and 
for me, it's more important to selectively purchase items that I get on sale and clearance and save money instead of frantically trying to buy everything in the last six months. I would go insane. Um, some people love that. I cannot do that. Um, so, you know, when I buy things now or collect things now, it's because I'm getting a good deal on it and it's for our future children. Even if something were to happen to this baby, it's for our future family. So that's a little explanation of why I have baby buys so early on. Um, so to get into it, my very first one is kind of a household thing. Yep, it's a drying rack. Um, so when we moved into this house, we bought a washing machine, our very first washing machine. I had previously hand washed all of our clothes and was planning to hand wash cloth diapers if we still lived in a home without a washing machine. Thankfully, we got it. And oh my gosh, this washing machine is the best thing in the world. I hear it running right now and oh, I love our washing machine. But we don't have a dryer and it's not really in the budget in the future. So uh, right now we do hang dry all of our clothes and I'm okay with that, but we did need another rack, um, especially when we're cloth diapering. We're definitely gonna need more racks. So I picked up another one. I had a coupon and a birthday reward for Orchard Supply and it's a great deal. So I picked that up this week. And also this morning I went out and got some little mommy buys for morning sickness because this morning it's progressively getting worse each day. Um, so I went to Babies R Us and I got some preggy pop drops and these things are amazing. Like, okay, their ingredients aren't that great, uh, but they're just little suckers that you can suck on. They also have a lollipop version and they have chews as well, but these were what works for me. So I like just having something that if I'm sitting in church or if I'm walking through the grocery store, I can just put a sucker in my mouth and it really does help calm your tummy. Another thing I got was Earth Mama Angel Baby's Organic Morning Wellness Tea. This is ginger mint. I haven't tried this yet because um, I just got it, but I cannot wait. It is made for queasy tummies and I love ginger tea and I love mint tea. So I'm really excited to try this. The other thing that I have been using is crystallized ginger. And this is the stuff that I eat after almost every meal and in between, and it calms my tummy. I have been eating for crystallized ginger since high school um, when I got motion sickness going to camp. Uh, so I use it for motion sickness, upset stomachs, and now morning sickness. So um, I have gotten it at many different stores, many local health food stores. I've got it at Winco. This I picked up at an Asian market. It's all over the place. But this is a standby. So anything ginger, yeah, I love. My prenatals also have ginger in them and I take them after every single meal, so that does help. And I've also been chewing on some saltines and ginger ale occasionally just to help. I know it's not natural, it's not healthy, but what are you gonna do? So those were my mommy buys this week. Um, the baby buys kind of also have stacked up here. I, again, there were not supposed to be any and then it just, it happened. So the very first thing we got was actually a gift from my in-laws. Uh, it's a cute little Leia set and there's little socks, a hat, a shirt, and pants with these adorable little animals on them. And it's cute little gender neutral. I love it. It's adorable. It's so sweet. Uh, so that was really sweet of them. And then I also met up with my best friend Candice this week and she took me to Carter's and bought these adorable little socks, little animals on them, and this cute little penguin overalls in six months. Super cute. Um, and again, here I'm going to put another caveat. <laughs> I've been asked about my clothing choices for babies. I, I am trying to only buy gender neutral clothes, but my definition of gender neutral is much more liberal than most people's. I love the color blue. I think that most, most baby boy clothes um, that are not specifically made for boys, like pants, shirts, saying lewd on them, things like that, 
Uh, many of the cutesy kind with little bears and animals and stuff, those are totally gender neutral. And I have a whole bunch of them that I will put on both a boy or a girl. This is a boy clothes, but I would definitely put this on a girl. So that's that. I also made my way to the dollar store this week. Wasn't going to do that, but ended up finding a couple things. These are wall stickers in Jungle Animals. Super cute. You know I love my animals, so I thought those were just really cute. And I love wall stickers because we can't really, you know, we rent, we can't do a whole lot with the walls, and wall stickers work. I also picked up two packages of baby washcloths, and we're using baby washcloths as cloth wipes um, instead of disposable wipes, so I wanted to pick up a couple more of those. And then I went to the book section, and they had these board books. They have a planes one and a cars one, and I thought those were really cute. I don't have a lot of more boyish books or anything about cars or planes or anything, and I like Disney. I really like cars. I haven't seen planes yet. Uh, but I thought they were really cute little books and for a buck each. I wanted to get those. And then I also got this blue container. I have some smaller ones like this and I really like them. So it's just great for storing stuff and I thought it was really cute so I got that too. And then I just got this in the mail. I got this Think Baby feeding set. It's a um, stainless steel, completely BPA-free, PVC-free, all of that stuff. It comes with a little bento box with a lid. It has a bowl with a lid, a cereal bowl, a baby bowl, and a cup. And they're super cute, and this is the blue set. And I have had this on my wish list for a very long time, but I purchased it because I had a whole bunch of Amazon rewards and gift cards, so I used those to redeem for this and only paid a few dollars for this. So that was a good deal. And then finally I got these in the mail. These are belly button bands. I haven't opened them. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out. But they are maternity bands that attach to your pants and so that your regular pants will fit um, while you're before you fit into like maternity pants. So this is just a, a band like, um, that's just the pants band, it's a really small one, and then I also got their body one, which is much bigger. I'm really excited to try these. I got these from a, a deal from the bump, so again, I only paid a few dollars for shipping or something with these, so I figured it was a good deal, and I'm excited to try them. I already have a bit of a belly pooch that's not baby at all, so um, I only have about two pairs of pants that even fit me comfortably right now, so I'm expecting in the coming weeks as my belly does grow that I'm going to be needing those pretty soon. So um, I have been taking my, like I said, my weight every week and then also my belly measurement every week, and my belly has consistently stayed the same, it hasn't grown at all, even though it feels like it's much bigger. but. Um, the last thing I will show you is a belly shot. Like I said, it's not baby at all, but <laughs> I will show you guys it. Anyway, I think this is a food baby, actually. But there it is from the side, in front, no side. So, so that is my six week update. Um, Sorry I had to explain all the different categories and everything, but it will go smoother in the next few weeks. I thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any tips, amazing tips for dealing with morning sickness, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Um, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye. I can clearly quickly see that I have tons of 0 to 3, 3 to 6, and even 6 to 9, but I really don't have